The Kinderhook plates were created in 1843 by three men in Kinderhook, Illinois, as a hoax on the Mormon church to see if Joseph Smith would translate them as he supposedly did the gold plates. These six fake plates were about three inches tall and made of brass, with meaningless characters engraved on both sides. In April 1843, one of the hoaxers buried the plates in an Indian mound and later dug them up in front of witnesses. The plates were then sent to Joseph Smith to see if he could translate them. In May of 1843, Joseph Smith's personal secretary William Clayton wrote, President Joseph has translated a portion and says they contain the history of the person with whom they were found, and he was a descendant of Ham through the loins of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and that he received his kingdom from the ruler of heaven and earth. Although the Kinderhook plates were a hoax, Joseph Smith translated a portion of them anyway. In 1980, the plates were confirmed to be fake through studies done at Northwestern University. How could Joseph Smith have translated fake plates with meaningless characters? See the full video on our channel.